welcome to this video and in this video I want to complain a little bit about the Xperia 5 Mark II and the Sony camera app. Some people will just throw it in the comment section directly say just use the Camera Pro app and Cinema Pro app. That's not the issue. What I'm talking here is the default Sony camera app and the inability for the default Sony camera app to record via an external audio source just like a microphone. I'm using open camera here right now because the Sony camera doesn't have the ability to record from an external audio source. Okay, granted, Cinema Pro app has this option, but Cinema Pro app has some other disadvantages. Just like, for example, you don't have the option for an auto exposure. So if I'm out and about, just like here right now, and a cloud comes and darkens everything a little bit, the scene, and I'm vlogging alone, even if I have someone standing behind the camera, he cannot even control the exposure manually during recording on Cinema Pro app. So I have no possibility to rescue this. Maybe with HDR I have the possibility to uh, change the sliders of the exposure slightly in post-production. But in general I don't have auto exposure on its Cinema Pro app, which is I think a big bummer for vlogging kind of situations. And the Sony application works tremendously well in this regard. So you have the possibility to use auto exposure and if a cloud comes, if, it, if the sun is shining on my face, it will automatically uh, turn down the exposure or put it up if the cloud is covering the sun. So wonderful news and wonderful options <laughs> when it comes to the Sony camera app. But not being able to record audio via an external microphone is a big bummer. I know that these are only five lines of code because I saw the code on the open camera application. Granted, open camera application has lots and lots of more options, just like you can choose the microphone that you want to use. But Sony doesn't even have to add this. The only thing they have to add is just like the detection for external microphone attached and then simply switch to the external microphone when recording and not use the internal microphones. It's so hard that I even tried it with lesser audio switch, which is a nice little application that allows you to switch between the audio sources, inputs and outputs. But even when I switch everything to use my external microphone, as soon as I hit the record button on the Sony application, it switches back, it forces itself to use the internal microphones. I don't understand it. I know maybe for the wind filter, maybe for the auto gain control, you have to tweak a little bit here and there if you use an external microphone, but it shouldn't be so hard. So I really hope that Sony will add it in the future. Um, but I have my hopes a little bit down because the Xperia 1 Mark 1, the Xperia 5 Mark 1, the Xperia 10 uh, Mark 1 and the Xperia 10 Plus Mark 1 and now even the Xperia 10 Mark 2, Xperia 1 Mark 2 and the Xperia 5 Mark 2 don't have this option. They don't have the ability to record audio externally via microphone in the default Sony camera application, which is a bummer. It is a real bummer for vloggers. I would really like to use this camera on my Xperia 5 Mark II as my main vlogging camera, but I cannot. I cannot. One could say, argue, you can use open camera just like you are using it right now. The problem is, in, first of all, in, in difference to the Xperia 1, which had like when I had my external microphone plugged in, it was a little bit low on volume. This one is a little bit hot on volume, so this microphone is a bit too loud, so I have to like speak very, very quietly so it doesn't like, um, uh, like be overloads the, the, the volume or the uh, mic. So, uh, yeah. This is a main problem as well of open camera and granted open camera could have uh, used some kind of volume slider for the microphone as well. But uh, Sony, they had made almost the perfect vlogging camera with this Sony Xperia 5 Mark II. Uh, the only thing missing is really an application that can record external audio here my microphone that has the maybe even the option to adjust the volume according to the microphone that you uh, put in but not even this just auto gain control should work as well with this microphone 
and uh, yeah I don't know Filmic Pro I tried I really don't like it has also this option you can control I think even the audio quality uh, the audio volume for the mic and Pro Take I also tried out but all those third-party applications open camera is the one that I like the most this is why I'm using it right now but they all suck at stabilization so if I hold it in my hand the phone it's not even close to what the Sony app, the camera app of Sony can produce in terms of stab stability, which is I think pretty good. Uh, the Cinema Pro app on the other hand, mm, not so much. So there the stabilization is worse, that's the first thing. And the other thing, the auto exposure issue that I told you about. But in general, Sony, if you listen to me, if you want to update the Cinema Pro app and add an auto exposure mode for it, I'm all in for it. And maybe have as an option, maybe with a larger crop, a better intelligent uh, stabilization, maybe the same stabilization used in a normal Sony camera application. Then I would even say get rid of the old Sony camera app and just have the Camera Pro and Cinema Pro apps there. Would be awesome really really awesome because i like the camera pro app so much that i will do in my next video a review about this um, application itself and show you some uh, camera photo samples but this is everything i had to complain i had to get it out get out the message uh, for you because sadly i cannot use the sony uh, systems for vlogging this is one vlog but i have to really speak very quietly and if i'm running out and about it would be very hard to do so because uh, it's normal if there's like loud stuff in the background that you speak a little bit louder and if the microphone is not be able to adjust to it it sounds bad and the other thing is like if the stabilization cannot keep up people will get seasick so also not good static shots of course i could, could do with the sony b-rolls of course i can do with the sony but for everything else i have to use my huawei devices because this is just like okay they don't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for the microphone but i have to use an adapter for it but it's just plug and play and you press the record button and everything adjusts uh, adjusts automatically i don't have any issues with this stabilization works uh, perfectly fine and um, yeah it's it's really a bummer i really would like to use uh, my sony uh, phones for recording vlogs more and more uh, especially because they have the headphone jack and it's easier then but uh, sadly that's not really possible if you have some suggestions you can write them down in the comment section otherwise like share and subscribe uh, for more content on the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II incoming shortly uh, I don't I didn't do an unboxing um, there's so many unboxings out there so what I will do is just like uh, focus on camera pro the next and then maybe cinema pro a little bit I will try to improve on my vlogging skills maybe with the feedback that I get from you, you will uh, allow me to um, yeah, find my perfect setup that allows me to use this uh, Sony, wonderful Sony phone for recording my vlogs. Otherwise I have to keep using Huawei phones for this. And uh, yeah, that's everything for this video. Until the next time, bye.